okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a diagram shows five gravitational equipotential lines the gravitational potential on each line is indicated a point mass m is placed on the middle line and is then released and the values are given in megajoule per kg which is correct about the direction of motion and the acceleration of the point mass okay fine so we have to find this like where the body would be moving once you are releasing the body and it is free to move in the space so um as a thumb rule we can always say that bodies travel from higher potential to the lower potential always and um, in the case of gravitation the potential value is always negative so these are a couple of things that you need to remember okay keep, keep these things in your mind let us say this is the planet or this is the earth so at infinite distance the potential will always be taken as zero always it's just a reference point that we create it is always zero the distance is infinite now when you come near to it the potential start having some value either positive or negative in the case of gravitation only and only negative values of the potential are possible positive values of the of the gravitational potential are not even possible there's no chance of creating positive potential that's it as as a matter of definitions so these potentials they are negative obviously and obviously when you come near to the earth it becomes more it has a higher value so here you have minus 10 and here you have minus 2 it means that you keep on going and it you are going towards infinity and you keep on going like this so you are going to hit the surface of the planet so surface of the planet is on the left hand side and the infinite distance is on the right hand side like let us say this is earth so this distance is pluto <laughs> so now we can just guess what is going to happen so will this body move towards the left or it will it go towards the pluto obviously it would be going towards the planet it would be going towards in the value in which the potential is now reducing you can clearly see the potential is reducing so it would be moving in the direction in which the potential is reducing that is towards left so c and d will be right and we have to see what is happening in the case of acceleration now obviously this is a clear cut case of dropping a, a ball is dropped and the pen is moving towards the surface of the earth don't you think that it would be accelerating obviously it would be accelerating with the acceleration due to gravity at that point yeah it will not be 9.8 because 9.8 is only in the case of earth number one and number two it is only in the case of when the point when the body is very near to the surface of the earth but in this case it may be near to the surface of the earth it might not be near the surface of the earth and so even then uh, like the value will not be 9.8 but it will be something like 4.9 something 5 3 2 but it will be accelerating there will be a force there will be a gravitational force towards the surface of the planet. Definitely, um, the acceleration will be there and the velocities will be increasing. But he's talking about acceleration increasing or not. Now, see, as I told you, so here the force, the distance is more. So the force, the gravitational force is gm divided by r squared. So near to the surface of the earth, the value of r is reducing and thereby the force is increasing i gave you the example now only like near the satellite you can say the acceleration due to gravity is 4.9 meter per second square but at the surface of the earth it will become 9.8 clearly even the acceleration is increasing so point number one the force is increasing the force is increasing it means the acceleration is increasing it is always positive and it is increasing now acceleration is always positive means the velocity is always increasing but the question is not about velocity it says even the acceleration is increasing okay i hope the things are clear now so it would be moving towards left hand side with an increasing acceleration why because when the distances are reducing the gravitational force is increasing and that is why the acceleration will also be increasing so my dear students, I tried my best to explain you the question. So the answer is D and I can show you the mark scheme also. And you can clearly see the answer is D here. All the best. Bye.